here with Brockville Braves head coach Colin Burkus. Now, Colin, the Braves went out and acquired 96-born Dean Kiriak yesterday from the Cochrane from Cochrane in the NOJHL. What does he add to the team that maybe was missing before? Uh, I don't know, to be honest with you. I've never seen the kid play. Um, <clears throat> I know the staff here last year uh, liked him. I guess uh, him and Godet really did a number on these guys throughout the season. And uh, it was just a player that Dustin had always made mention. If he ever became available, he will be a good depth piece for us. Uh, we are one of the smaller teams in the league, so he does bring some size. Uh, I've met him, so I know he's physically a big kid. Um, we're just hoping he can come in, contribute uh, a team that's a little bit starved for goals. You know, hopefully he can pot a couple for us. Now, 28 games into the season, you're sitting sixth in the Robinson division. While that's still seventh in the league, mm -hmm. it's at the bottom of the division. What do you have to do to start climbing up the ladder in the Robinson division? I guess win more. Uh, you know, we play really good against the good teams. Like I think we're undefeated against Kempville, two and one against Smith Falls, two and one against Carleton Place. So. When we feel like getting prepared and, and getting serious for a game, we're, we're a pretty good team. Um, but we do still show signs of immaturity. Uh, when we play a team below us in the standings, we kind of take it for granted. And if you look at the points we've kind of uh, thrown away this year, they're at teams below us in the standings. So that's a little bit concerning. But with 16 rookies in the lineup, we're just trying to find our way. And I, I think we're trending in the right direction. Now, Hank Johnson is now the CCHL record holder for shutouts. How much confidence does that give, especially your defense and your forwards in the games, knowing that he's back there stopping the puck? Yeah, again, go back to the to the fact there's so many new guys in the lineup. Um, it, it does give us a little bit of confidence. Um, I don't think he was that sharp at the first part of the season. He's he's really focused and in the zone right now. Um, you know, he's negotiating with a handful of Division One schools, so he's really in a good headspace right now. And, you know, with the home-and-home -home win against Carleton Place, only giving up one goal total, he, he's obviously dialed in. So, yeah, we have a lot of confidence in him right now. Now, you're talking about that Carleton Place series. You're coming off a 3 nothing win over the first-place Canadians. How much momentum do you think that gives you coming into tonight's game? Not a lot. I mean, that's a full week ago. Uh, we had a good week of practice. Um... We, I just like our habits. I like the way we're starting to compete a little bit more on an individual basis, and, and I think collectively it, it's it's making a huge difference. Um, so I'm happy with where we're at. Unfortunately, you know, we played the best game of the season, and then we're off for a week. So, and then it's it's not like we don't have a strong team coming in tonight. Kempville's just right up there with them, probably one of the favorites to win the league. So um, the week off, I, I don't think was a benefit for us, but. But again, uh, considering where we were a couple of weeks ago, we, t we took it as a good sign. Now, you come into this game, your penalty kill is not top ranked in the league. What's been the key to success so far for the Brockville penalty kill? Um, it's something we haven't really worked on that much. What we do is we kind of focus on areas that need work and, and chip away at that. So our power play was struggling. I think we've got that up to third in the league or something to that effect. So we're happy with that. In, in terms of the PK, it starts with our goaltending. Both goalies are pretty good at reading the play. Uh, that's very important. But the kids that we recruited are all very, very smart hockey players. So um, as smart hockey players, they know what the other teams are trying to set up. We, we give them a little bit of a head start. We let them know uh, what the trends are, what they look like on video if we haven't played them recently. Um, they're just smart hockey players making good reads. That's all it is. Thank you. I've been with head coach Colin Burkus of the Brockville Braves. Thank you.